Hello everyone, welcome to Best Recipes with Sharon. Fresh blueberry season is upon us, so what better than to make a nice fresh homemade blueberry pie? So stay with me and I'll show you how I make this. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment in the comment section. I look forward to hearing from you. When you go to make any pie, you start by doing the crust of course, and I have a separate video that shows you how to make this flaky pie crust. And once you have the pastry already made, you roll it out, put it in the bottom of a pie plate, and then I'm cutting strips so that I can do a lattice top. And the pastry may need to be chilled a little bit in order for it to cooperate with you when you're doing this. And of course, the most important ingredient is your blueberries. But with all the ingredients so nicely put together, it makes for one real delicious fresh blueberry pie. So let's get started by adding a half a cup of water to a medium sized saucepan. Then add 3 quarters of a cup of white sugar. Then add 4 tablespoons of cornstarch. 1 eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Then I take a whisk and I whisk this mixture together until it smooths out nicely. Turn your heat on medium high. Continue whisking it briskly until it starts to steam. And once it starts to steam, you'll notice it'll start to thicken up as well. But at this point, you add one cup of fresh blueberries. And continue to stir or whisk it until it thickens. So what we're building is blueberry pie filling. So this is just the base for that. So the blueberries that we have in there will help to color it. They'll fall apart just a little bit, but that's okay because we're going to add some fresh blueberries to the actual filling at the end. So there's meaning to the madness. It will all make sense when you see it all put together. Now this filling will thicken up quite thick, but that's okay because once you add the rest of your ingredients, it will thin out some. And once it has thickened up a bit, add one tablespoon of butter. Mix that in until it's melted. Now then, add one tablespoon of lemon juice. And note the consistency is still quite thick. Now then, I add about a half a teaspoon of pure vanilla. Stir that all in, and you'll note that the filling is thick enough to coat the metal spoon. So next, we'll add two cups of fresh blueberries, and make that a generous two cups. Stir that in, and this will be what really makes the blueberry pie taste nice and fresh, because the berries will stay whole, and they won't be cooked anymore on top of the stove. We're going to be pouring this directly into the pie shell, and then once we place our top on the pie, we'll be cooking it in the oven just until the pie crust is cooked through well. So here you can see that I have cut a bunch of strips so that I can do a lattice top. Now you don't have to do that, you can just top it with a regular crust, but I'm going to do the lattice top today on the blueberry pie, and it is a little bit tricky uh, because you have to do over and under with it like a basket weave. And it's good to have your pie crust chilled before you do this because otherwise it doesn't cooperate well when you're trying to work with it back and forth. Pinch up the edges a little bit and it's ready to go in the oven. And we just need to bake the crust. So time it for between 15-20 minutes. But check on it frequently because once it is golden brown and the crust has baked up nicely, then it's ready to remove from the oven. Remember, we already did the filling on top of the stove, so we're not waiting for that to cook through. So the pie is nicely browned up and it's ready to serve. What do you think? Would you like a piece? So if you like blueberries at all, you'll love this pie. So go ahead, give it a try, and until next time, happy eating.